Our gang was sexy. So the good folks over at AegisStorage.com sent me a stack of the uh, these nice new trays that they're putting out. Um, I know you all have seen a couple of people. I know Mo and I know Arwolf have already done it. Probably a couple other ones out there. I think uh, Wardrobe's going to be doing one here soon. And uh, I'm going to take a quick review of this thing. So I just took the plastic off from here. And before I even attempt to open the tray here, my first evaluation are one, I like the wrap around lid. All right. I like how it wraps around. The lid goes all the way around the sides. Okay. I think that's great for when you're going to put it in a box. Uh, the dishes look fairly deep. They look like they're deeper than the standard ones that I think we see from GMT. I, I don't know how to measure them, but they look deeper. And another thing that I liked it, I, I, I don't know if I've heard anybody mention it. I haven't watched everybody's full videos on this is they have their name stamped in there. Well, you know, okay. So for, for appearances, that's awesome. They get their name showing on the tray when you pull counter counters out, but you know how you try to get that counters out that are against the bottom and because the the bottom is a flat smooth plastic you have a hard time for especially people don't have fingernails picking those counters up well i think that that's actually going to help in that all right it has the locking tabs on the corners which are great and once you get these things in a box they're not going anywhere that's for sure and the only openings are on the sides here now i haven't tried this yet so we're going to try to open it uh watch mo do it with the popping it up and sliding the finger around it. So I'm going to try to open it from sitting in a flat spot here and we'll see how this goes. All right. And all right. So if you can get a corner or two off, if I can get a corner to it, all right, then you can just slide the tray up and off. So a yeah, little more work than a GMT or the old SPIs, but I think you can do it without having counters fly everywhere. All right, and I don't mind that so much as long as I know that that lid is going to secure all the way around the sides right there. Uh, the tray, all right, so the plastic doesn't seem doesn't seem flimsy at all. Okay, so it ought to hold its own over time. And uh, really, I don't know. I think it's fine. I think the tray is fine. And snap it back on. Snap the four corners on, and there you go. Nothing's going to fall out of this thing. All right. And like I say, for me, the best aesthetic of this thing is that, that name being stamped in there is going to allow me to get my fingers underneath these trays to uh, pick up the counters. Now, do they fit in boxes? Well, let's take a look. Let's grab an old GMT box here and see what that does. So let's pull out any cost Mets here. All right, let's get these counters out of the way. And let's see. So this is a was this two inch box, I think. All right, so let's take the box, put it in here. Yep, take the tray. All right, drops down in there. Let's get one more. See what we get here in a two-inch box. All right, so that looks like it's going to be fine to hold two trays, depending on how much paper is, you know, paper and maps is in the bottom there. But that's uh, that's not sticking up on the sides or anything, and all the maps and rules are in there. Uh, they do stack. They don't slide down real far on top of each other mostly because I think the wells are so deep, but I'm good with that. Uh, believe me, the more storage room I can get in a tray slot, the better, because we all know some of these games we get nowadays and these one and a half inch boxes have, I mean, I just had one out on the table that had like 800 counters in it. So, you know, the more room you can get in a storage tray. And I would venture to say adding another inch to this, so let's see the depth of the box here. If you add another inch to this, naturally I don't have a tape measure nearby. All right, so this is, <clears throat> the width of this thing is, looks like it's about just under three quarters of an inch. So yeah, you, you a three inch box, you should be able to get three in there, like I say, as long as it's not heavily laden um, with uh, maps and rule books and charts and stuff. Um, three may fit, but I would venture to say you'll probably be able to get two. All right, so hey, aegisstorage.com, A-E-G-I-S, S-T-O-R-A-G-E.com. New on the market, new trays. They're out there now. Get over, take a look. Uh, haven't loaded one up yet, but I'm going to here shortly, I'm sure. And just from the first initial review of it, I think these things are going to be well worth it. Uh, haven't looked to see what the cost on them are yet. 
I need to get over there myself and, and take a take a quick peek. But I think uh, now we got something else out there to put on the market instead of having to wait for poor old GMT to have to fulfill everybody in the world's uh, tray needs. So, and well, Compass Games has got their stuff too. I guess you can get theirs, but yeah, I think these are going to be worth it. So get over to AgesStorage.com, take a look, see what you think of them. And um, hey, let's keep gaming and let's keep storaging the right way. All right, we'll talk to y'all soon.